Hog Wild Barbecue on the beach of Gulf Shores, Alabama. Welcome to NOLA Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our beach travel vlog, it's time for you to escape to the beach with me for Alabama barbecue at Hog Wild Barbecue, which is some of the top Gulf Shores barbecue. Hog Wild Barbecue is located on the Gulf Coast in Gulf Shores, Alabama, which is about three hours and 195 miles away from New Orleans. This is some of the top food Alabama offers in the barbecue category, so our famous food eating videos bring you here for the Barbecue Alabama Food Eat With Me feast we will have today. This is one of the best barbecue restaurants in the Gulf Shores area, and many restaurants review video shows have given this place high praise on their famous eating show reviews. Barbecue fans looking for the top food Alabama offers in the barbecue realm need to add Hog Wild Barbecue to their list as many restaurant review videos have really loved the food here. And for barbecue, it is one of the best places to eat Alabama barbecue. So as we head on inside, it's a really tiny place. Uh, it's basically just the main room here and they have a little bar in the front and they've got a pretty simple layout and not a lot of chairs in here. It is the pandemic times and this is my first visit during the pandemic situation, the first time I ever went here, they were doing pork only, no brisket. So I was really happy when they finally did add brisket. And since then, I've eaten here many times. I really do enjoy this place. And you do order at the counter here. There is no table service. So let's check out and see what we want to order today and what all is on the menu. So. So for barbecue plates, they include two sides and Texas toast. We have pulled pork, pulled chicken, smoked sausage, turkey, baby back ribs, six of them, beech and shrimp, which are fried golf shrimp tossed in buffalo sauce and topped with white barbecue sauce and coleslaw, smoked wings, six. Some of my friends that live in the area love the wings here. Smoked crispy chicken. Combo, two meats, one red meat and one white meat, big tea sampler, quarter pound of pork, a quarter pound of sausage, four wings, a quarter crispy chicken, and four ribs, and three sides, three pieces of Texas toast, and brisket. Then we have little piggies, 10 and under only, please, includes drink inside, pulled pork, pulled chicken, sausage or grilled cheese, ribs two, turkey or wings three. We have freckles, barbecue nachos, banana pudding, wild fries. Then we have our sides, baked beans, bag of chips, Kate's tater salad, southern green beans, tomato and cucumber salad, house fries, mac and cheese, not your traditional coleslaw, and sweet potato fries. Then we have sandwiches, and it includes one side. So we have pulled pork, pulled chicken, sausage, turkey, chopped rib, Beach and shrimp, six fried gulf shrimp tossed in buffalo sauce and topped with white barbecue sauce and coleslaw. Tantrum, pulled pork topped with house fries and white barbecue sauce. Smoked chicken salad. Sliders, two, pork sausage or chicken. Barbecue tacos, pork or chicken topped with coleslaw, cheese, and white barbecue sauce. The Nasty G, featured on Cooking Channel. Pork, chicken, chopped rib, buffalo shrimp, coleslaw, and white barbecue sauce, and brisket. Then we have our drink menu with domestic beer at a great price of $3 with Budweiser, Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, Landshark, Michelob Ultra, and Yingling. Wait, why is Yingling $3.50? It's usually a cheap beer too. Craft beer, cheap sunglasses, Fairhope 51, Freckle Belly IPA, I Drink Therefore I Amber, Naked Pig Pell L, Truck Stop Honey Brown L, UFO White L. Gluten free with Ace Pineapple Cider and White Claw, then wine with Pinot Grigio and Merlot. So, you might have guessed that I ordered the brisket plate, with my sides being coleslaw and potato salad and an iced tea to drink. And for my sauce that I had to pre order due to the pandemic, I got their whiskey sauce. I do miss back before the pandemic when this counter here was full of the selection of sauces. So the three sauces that I really like here are their Alabama Original, which is a sweet and tangy sauce, 
Then there are Hogs 911, which is a hot and spicy sauce. And then their whiskey sauce, and usually I like to mix up their whiskey and the 911 to make a good uh, balance of some hot with a little tang of whiskey. And then they also have a white sauce. So after you put your order in, you take a seat and wait for them to bring your barbecue order out. And uh, in past times, you could also refill your own drink, but during the pandemic, they want to refill the drink for you. So my brisket has arrived with two little containers of barbecue sauce. And just for a comparison, we can flash back here before the pandemic, and this is what the brisket plate looked like back in those better times. Okay, we're about to dig in and destroy this barbecue brisket after we add a little sauce to it. And hey, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And I really do appreciate it. And if you could also comment below and share this video with people you think would like it, it's also going to help me. Thank you. <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> Good times for the barbecue here. Oh, I do love the barbecue brisket here. It is really fantastic. Gulf Shores really has come a long way and has been making some of the most fantastic brisket in the entire state of Alabama. Um, I have to say the rest of Alabama has brisket to me that is not as good as it is down here on the coast. Alabama's long been a strong bastion for pork barbecue and they're famous for their white sauce that goes with their barbecue. I just don't like the pork barbecue. I'm all about some delicious beef brisket, some beef ribs, some beef burn ends. Oh, I love this brisket. It's so good here. Oh, now barbecue chicken's good. The turkey's good here too. So they have some good options to select from here. But on average, the brisket to me is the most delicious thing they have in this place. Ooh. Dill pickles are pretty darn good too though. So uh, those come with your meals. So that's always a good extra. I do like the flavor. Coleslaw here is also quite nice. So their side items are also quite pleasant. And uh, a lot of other places, the side items kind of are just an afterthought. Here the extra little love is put into making their sides, you can tell. Very good slaw. There is a bit of an art to making a good coleslaw, and I would say from my research that the tradition of coleslaw in the southern USA is from the German immigration to the area, and also the potato salad as well. So there's some strong German tradition still around. It's a nice potato salad. It is hard to make a tasty, delicious potato salad too, and they do it here. <laughs> Oh, the star of the show, though, is always the brisket to me. Ooh. So, just like I destroyed that brisket plate, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Refer this video to anybody you think that would enjoy it. And please comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on the barbecue here, barbecue in general. And thanks so much to everybody at Hogwild Beach and Barbecue for continuing to provide fantastic food. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.